Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blackford Book Club and another edition of my Essential Film Reviews Collection and I bring you my rambling musings on the 2021 film Nightmare Alley. Guillermo del Toro, director of Hellboy, Pan's Labyrinth and The Shape of Water returns to the cinema screen with a reimagining of a 1947 film of the same name and from the same source novel written by William Gresham a year earlier. I'd loosely describe it as a colourised film noir set just before the onset of World War II and as the film's first act ends we are transported two years later into 1941. As with the noir label above and as with the films of Del Toro as a whole it's difficult to fully pinpoint a category or genre for this magnificent film but with spoilers as always at a bare minimum here's a basic entry point and premise. Circling around the central character of Stanton Carlyle are a host of hard-working grifters, show people, hucksters and con artists who all inhabit a travelling circus and carnival of wonders akin to a historic a Barnum and Bailey carnival. You have an electric girl, archetypal strongmen, dwarves, seers, soothsayers and rather distressingly a caged and bedraggled human being known simply as the geek ostensibly owned and run by Clement Hoatley, Willem Dafoe, he is surrounded by a seemingly loyal family within his carnival and star turns are provided by Zena Crumbine, Tony Collette, as a clairvoyant or seer who is aided and abetted with cheat codes and notebooks full of lifelong cons by her husband Peter Crumbine, David Strathairn. Whilst our central character falls in love with the electric girl in the shape of Molly Cahill, Rooney Mara, a host of small supporting cameo roles for to Richard Jenkins as Ezra Grindle, Mary Steenbergen as Felicia Kimball and Ron Perlman as Bruno. There are two further characters worthy of a fuller introduction as they intertwine as the film begins its second act in 1941. Stanton Carlyle Bradley Cooper Walking away from a burning house in the very first frames of the film is perhaps the perfect analogy for a man walking away from a life in flames, out of control and in need of a fresh start far away from the burning embers of an old life. A bus ride takes Stanton, or Stan, to the aforementioned carnival whereby he stumbles, hook or by crook, into the employ of the carnival owner and quickly enchanted by the literal tricks of the carnival trade and the manipulation of a willing audience to either believe their own lying eyes or dumb enough to be openly duped. As well as trying desperately to ignite the, the affections of Molly the Electric Girl, their dance on a spinning carousel ride is a highlight of the film, it becomes apparent that the archetypal tall, dark stranger and interloper on an existential escape from self is curating yet another life with newly acquired huckster, conman type skills and a life far away from eking a living with a travelling carnival. Now a self-described mentalist in league with his electric girl, he is cornered by a psychologist, Lilith Ritter, Kate Blanchett, at one of his popular shows, and it soon becomes apparent that the accomplished con man may have bitten off more than he can chew. At a running time of nearly 150 minutes, Nightmare Alley is a long and winding tale of duplicity, secrets and cons wrapped into an existentially dark, bleak and brooding story brilliantly illuminated by its ostensible marquee star, Bradley Cooper. Whilst not as thunderously unhinged as in Silver Linings Playbook or A Star Is Born, Cooper is fantastic here as the secretive Stanton Carlyle, permanently smoking and permanently on the lookout for the next con or next play in a life brilliantly depicted by Guillermo del Toro. Whilst the film is particularly bleak, brooding and blackly dark, huge kudos should go to Dan Lawston cinematography and particularly the production design of Tamara Deverell and art direction of Brant Gordon for a beautifully looking, if existentially bleak film that I liked throughout but didn't love immediately as I did with Del Toro's wonderful Pan's Labyrinth or The Shape of Water. My immediate reaction is that with further viewings I will indeed love this film on a par with those two classics named above, but time will tell. And that was Nightmare Alley, 
directed by Guillermo del Toro. And I haven't watched it since, so I can't possibly give you an update, but what I can do is I can highly recommend it to you. And that was Stephen Blackford, recommending film reviews and writing pointless but spoiler-free film reviews since 2012. And I leave you in peace and in solidarity. And I thank you so much for watching. Peace, everyone.